So I have a lot of people to call back, but I keep thinking that's one more time they will hear about <laughs> mind works. We keep it in front and forward. Yes. That's right. <laughs> the, well, script- the interesting thing, too, is I have people who um, are not on our supplements, but they are using mind works. I think it's just a product that nobody yes. else has, and it's just such a unique product. And, you know, our brain is, we need our brain to think and function and, um, do pretty much any job that anybody has, whether it's, you know, an office job or, you know, a mom or anything like that. We are constantly thinking and needing to remember things. So I'm pretty amazed at who has been ordering mind work. It just kind of blows me away. Some of the people who I have, you know, talked to about supplements, they're not so sure about supplementing, but they want to do mind work, so... That's Bye. pretty neat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, it was a point, same point was made uh, by Rick Seymour last night on the call, that it really does open up different doors and different pockets of people to talk to uh, that are just a little bit more broad than just maybe, you know, people that are, are into prevention and supplementing and stuff like that. I think it's a, I think it's going to end up being a fantastic door opener for us in a lot of situations, you know. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. I think it's nice of me to finally show up. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we weren't worried. Oh, good. Okay. We know where you live. We can (laughs) keep (laughs) going. You know, I couldn't find the um, I couldn't find the the reminder thing. Did we get a Did we get a second one? And we had a scroll yeah. about eighty seven. Well, shows how many emails I had. That's probably more likely. Anyway, uh, we want to check some audio for um, Julie Schmid. I saw her there. Okay, yeah. Okay, I got her. Whoops. I went to click it and it moved. Okay, I got her. Julie. Hello. Oh, perfect. Oh, Is that good. All right? Yeah, yes, real, real, real good. And Moira, Moira, Moira. Oh, Katie, did we get Katie yet? Katie, yeah, Katie, Katie yes. Katie here. Hi, good morning, good morning. And Moira. Moira, there she is. Okay, whoops. And then, Barb, you're just going to re-mute me. I don't have to do any muting on my end. Is that right? Yes. We can. Okay. We can. It makes us feel very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can mute you. <laughs> All right. I, I, will, I will mute you right this minute, but then stand okay. by. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, but let's talk about, the, uh, we're, did I interrupt you in the middle of a MindWorks conversation? Uh-huh. Here? Yes. Well, it's... <laughs> But that's uh, my right. job. Okay, and 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 Lisa, did you have a chance to talk about the surprise announcement? I did not. Oh, should we do that right now? Well, well and you guys will be hearing it on the weekend. But uh, it was uh, kind of sorry, my other ones kind of announced uh, in Long Beach that some really cool things are happening with the 180 program, and there's a challenge that's being issued for January. But because of this challenge, we're going to get a few promotions around the 180 program. Um, hopefully, you know, starting anytime this month throughout the end of the year. So we have some fun things to offer our members. That, in addition to the promotions with MindWorks, I think it's a it's a good time for us, hmm. right? Yeah. Well, and I, you know, it it appears there is a pattern that about every two months there is something that the some kind of a promotion, something that we can bring to our customers, something we want to pay attention to. But I'll tell you what really has caught my attention and we're going to be talking about today is um, I think for all of us, the four of us who were putting this together, Lisa and Katie, Joe and I, is that we were realizing what a powerful marketing strategy it is to talk to people now at the beginning of November about Shackley 180 rather than waiting till January mm-hmm. and talking about it then, which we will again, of course, but because <clears throat> what struck me is when do you want to look good is <laughs> during the holidays when you see everybody. No one's going to see you in January because you're going to be bundled up under a, you know, your winter parkas and and so why wait till January to lose the weight why not now do, I mean there are some things we can do right now that could you know help those clothes fit a lot better when we when we get into the holiday time so I think the timing to be talking about Shackley 180 now and it is you know um, 
who who shot Katie? You were talking about being on vacation. And oh, Katie keeps muting because the baby's there. And anyway, we Katie uh, and I we were both on vacation last week, and and you know when yeah. where I where I was there you are. Yeah. Yeah, where I was, I mean, I, we were eating out three meals a day, and that is more than I ever eat when I'm home. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a shake. And at any rate, uh, I, I could tell by the end of the week my clothes weren't fitting, and I could, I could bar- barely, you know, um, uh, button my waistlines. And within a week being home, I was back to normal weight and normal normal size again but that just by having something like Shackley 180 that you can feel good on you never feel deprived but boy it just helps you get back to a normal weight quickly and Katie it, it, you well, you're going to talk a little bit about that later but you had that same thing with your weight too right yeah we went on vacation last week as well and you know what also just was very interesting is you know when you're eating out it tastes good but we just don't feel the same afterwards you right. know, when I have a smoothie or when I have a bar, I just gain energy. I can tell my blood sugar is stabilizing. I'm just in a better mood. In fact, this morning I was thinking I was a little grumpy because um, my baby is sick, so it was a rough night last night. And I thought, you know, instead of coffee, I feel like it should be a saying, don't speak to me until I've had my protein. <laughs> The new mug we'll make, right? (laughs) True. Um, But I was worried about about gaining weight, you know, when on vacation, and I got back and I didn't, thankfully, and it was because I um, did a smoothie um, every morning, and also when we were out and about, I just had snack bars and meal bars with me so that I didn't um, stop for, you know, fast food and different things like that. Mm. It's wonder. It's really wonderful to have. So, Joe, did you finish all the slides you wanted to click through? Did I finish them? Yes. Did you click through the no. through the mind work slides? No. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we want to do that now. Okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about the challenge, uh, MindWorks challenge that was issued to us in uh, Long Beach by our friend Marie Shriver, who challenged us to use a- and to sell the Blockbuster new product MindWorks to help raise money for brain health research. So, um, Lisa, you're in the know here about Dr. Phil, but that's not going to be the week of November 17th. Can you update us? Well, we got some. Uh uh, yeah, updated information last evening, um, last night, and the first week of December is when they are now estimating, uh, anticipating that it will be on the Dr. Phil show, so we all have a little bit of a delay, but I think, and Katie and I were discussing this just a second ago, it's, it's, in some ways it's a really good thing, so we just need to take advantage of the time. The way Justin Rose put it is that we have a longer runway, and I, <laughs> I kind of like a longer runway. I need hey, more time I, to get ready. You so. know what? I honestly think... The biggest benefit that we're going to get from that is right now, all the people that we speak to to say, this product is so effective that it is now going to be featured on the Dr. Phil show. And interesting, this morning on the CBS Morning News, they had a, um, they were reporting out on a story that showed that taking B, vitamin B12, uh, would not improve your memory. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow! It was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, we know on those studies, you know, they do isolated vitamins yes. and they're synthetic. And right. um, I'm surprised that you know they don't wreck your memory. But it's um, it we know from the clinical studies are so powerful. Dr. Phil would not be talking about this on air if there was wasn't solid right. clinicals behind it. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so this is mm-hmm. this is great. Okay, so now we we changed that date. All right, we'll do that. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think that the the momentum for us in this promotional time is is for our members to be experiencing the product, then have the Dr. Phil excitement come in, and then it's not just us telling people, but it's us plus 10, 20, 30 of our members telling people. Mm. That's where the energy is going to catch, I think. And so we really are lucky to have a little bit more time to get ready. So Good. Um, yeah. And Lisa, can you go through the promotions that they're offering? Sure. 
Sure. So now uh, a person can join free, and I believe all of these are going to uh, kick in on the 18th. I'm kind of a little confused of which promotions are now and which promotions are the 18th, but I believe this uh, free membership with one bottle of mine work starts on the 18th. We know we have the regimen pack with the two bottles that has a free membership, and these people are also going to get free shipping up to $9. So that's, I think, nice. And then anyone, any new person that joins this one I know starts on the 18th with two mind works will get the free membership, the free shipping, and then in the next 45 days if they order any regimen, they're going to get a free bottle of the 60 count Omega Guard. So, you know, we have a neat sheet that Shackley's put together with the different regimens in there. Um, so when we do our follow-up with our people that come in through the mind works, uh, you know, program we just want to make sure we talk to them about what's available for them and then this is an exciting thing for our existing members if they order two bottles of MindWorks they get free shipping up to nine dollars as well so uh, that's smart so that's appealing to the people I've been talking to they yeah. the members and they can add other things to that order right right yeah mm -hmm. it's a good deal mm -hmm. Good. And okay. Shackley offers veterans free distributor kits. This is this is she's created a lot of buzz on Facebook. Um, Shackley providing a free mem a free distributorship to veterans in honor of their service to this country, and that offer is valid. I love, I love this. Yeah, mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. what, Monday through March thirty first. I thought that was great. Oh, you know? yeah. I, but yeah. Knowing that, I th I have so much respect for the. The people who work in the military, we know they don't get paid a lot. They, we have so many, uh, really a lot of leaders in our group now who husbands are in the military and, you know, they, they're moved. What is it, Katie? Like every three years, I think. And, you know, they're just completely uprooted and they, they, they give, they give a lot and they're not paid a lot. And I thought, what a beautiful idea uh -huh. that for those, uh, the, our military families now who are having Shackley businesses they just love it and they are helping so many people um, on their bases as well as their families and I, I just think it's a beautiful gesture and I'm just proud of Shackley for yes, offering absolutely. it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Very good. So that brings us to today's session. Lisa, want to get us started? Yes. Welcome, everyone. We're so excited that you have joined us. I don't know where you are, but here it's very, very cold, and I'm happy to have something to take my mind off the sub zero <laughs> weather we're having. Um, today we are doing lesson 11 of our Teaming Up Fall session, um, and we're talking about holiday business strategies. And I will have to say, I actually started to get in the holiday mood last night when we were going through some of these slides. <laughs> I know. Barb has I know. decorated them beautifully, so it's going to be a fun day, and we're really glad you're here with us. So our objectives um, really are to discuss a variety of ideas, talking about our PV during the holiday season. We want you to move through November and December uh, anticipating, expecting, and believing for great business volume and growth, and we want you to feel like you have a plan because we know that at the end of the day, the plan makes the thing happen, right? So we're going to talk about holiday gift packages, products that are really important to our customers during the holiday season. Um, we'll kind of break them down, and then we're going to give some ideas from different families how they can earn a little extra spending money um, by sharing Shackley in the holidays as well. Okay. And some strategies for the holidays. First of all, it's so important to have a plan. Um, so figuring out what you're going to do in the month of November and the month of December to generate PV, especially when we have the holidays because you know certain days are going to be blocked off for family, it's important to plan around that. And so when I knew I was going to be gone for a week, I put a lot of work into my business before I was going so that it freed me up that week to get other things done and I wasn't panicking for the rest of the month. Um, also have a plan for how you're going to connect with people and remember the three elements of a meaningful conversation. Tell me about the acknowledging people um, and sharing why you do what you do. Um, it's really important when we're talking to people. By asking questions, you're going to find out things with people that you might not have known had you just been talking, talking, talk, doing all the talking yourself. So make sure um, it's a great time. You're at, you're at parties. You're at family get-togethers. You're at school functions. There's just, it's just a busy time of year. And I think a lot of people think, 
oh, it's such a busy time of year, I won't be able to do the business. I think it's a busy time of year. You're going to be around so many people. Your business is going to grow. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, so exactly. Many ways of connecting with people, mm-hmm. um, especially what I have found when you get together with family is they ask you, how is, how's your job going? How is Shackley going? And that's a great way um, to share what's what's been happening in your business and, and sharing a testimony. Oh, you know, I just got this text from somebody recently and they shared with me how they were able to get their child off of their asthma medications and, you know, it's a great way to just plant some seeds with people. And also, remembering that with the new year approaching, people are already thinking about how they're going to lose weight. People are also already thinking about business opportunities. Um, you know, as soon as the new year hits, I know a lot of people have said, oh, I'll, I'll start Shackley um, at the beginning of next year when, right. you know, this isn't going on or that's not going on. I just don't have time right now. So remember those people on your list um, who are potential business partners. It's a great time of year. Also, um, this this I found so fascinating that one third of master coordinators mm-hmm. were sponsored in December. I just was floored by that. I um, it's very interesting to see that so many master coordinators um, were sponsored in December. So it just shows the potential that these months have. And then yeah. also having a plan for generating PV early in December to eliminate any end of the month PV stress. We know how stressful that can be, and we know that. Um, as soon as Christmas hits and then you have the New Year's, <clears throat> that end of the uh, month can be very busy. So making sure to have a plan around that. So, mm-hmm. so the so the takeaway on that slide is have a plan. plan. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and work the plan. And work That's the, and uh, then work it. That's right. So there's some uh, products that are exceptionally good to talk about this time of the year, but we want to talk a little bit about just communicating with your member base uh, for the holidays. And so there's a lot of ways you can reach out. You can do newsletters. Of course, we have MindWorks right now, so there's so much reach out that can be done with that. But you can do emails, Facebook posts. Um, best of all, you know, you can really reach out and, and call your members. And I just I love using this season for a little extra special uh, graciousness and gratitude. So whatever you do with your members, I, I just make sure you're telling them Merry Christmas and that you, you care about them and that you're very blessed that they're a part of your Shackley family and that um, you consider them just a, a really important part of your life. I think it's just a great time of year to add that in. So you can, you can fit that into any type of communication we're doing with them, but make sure you're sharing with them that they're important to you. And then you can talk about you know, different other things that you want to specifically share with them as well. So we want to talk about some Shackley Holiday Vitamin Survival Kits. And you know, I love I love this concept that Barb and Joe have kind of put together for us here because I think when you do talk to people and you think about the busyness of the holidays, there really are two things on their mind. They know they're stressed and they know they're worried about being sick. And we really do have some great things to help uh, approach that. So we're going to delve into a little bit of those packs. So here's some of the, the huge needs we see during the holidays. Energy, avoiding colds and flus, enjoying holiday foods without gas, cramps and bloating. Because <laughs> it's important. We don't want to pay too much of a price for eating fun right. stuff, right? And then stress relief, holidays without the drama. Uh, and then, of course, healthy weight and maintaining weight. Like Barb said, it's important. And people, I think they have anxiety over that causes them stress. So we, <laughs> we have great conversations to be having. Uh, so here's a great cold and flu pack. And you can just look down. We have vitamin C, sustained release, nutriferon, um, premium garlic complex, no odor. So all of these things that we can talk about and how they build the immune system, defend and resist. Oh my gosh, this one's a fun one because people can crush it, they can chew it. We froze a bunch of apples recently because we have a few friends with apple trees and so we make a homemade applesauce very easily throughout the winter and crush our echinacea and put it in there. My girls will eat it much better that way. Um, you can do a tea chew. You know, I heard, I saw some Facebook posts going around about Defin and Resist. You know, what's a good throat lozenge? Defin and Resist is a great throat lozenge for us. We use it with a couple of the chewable seed and it will numb your throat beautifully. So, and then the Vitalize Immunity, we which is, I think, really becoming one of our favorite products in our house because it is so pleasant to take. It's one of those really enjoyable 
pleasant Shackley experiences. So <laughs> if you look at this as a package, what a great thing to offer to your members to have in their home, to be prepared, and to have some things to work with. And this comes to about 103 PV. So it's a nice thing to offer people. <laughs> and it's effective. It really works. Yes, yes. All those things really work. Okay, Katie. So interesting on, on this Facebook group page with some local people, and everybody kept promoting elderberry um, for the immune system. And I thought, oh, what is that? I don't think Shackley has that. And then I'm looking up Defend and Resist yesterday <laughs> uh, for a friend of mine because she was curious. Uh, there it was. In it. And I'm like, there it is. And I'm like, man, Shackley always knows. If people think, you know, oh, there's this new thing out now that has to and Shackley has always been ahead of the game. So the, that They product, discovered, oh, cute. Oh. And, you know, I had a sore throat last night, and I took that vitalized immunity. And I, after a few sips, it literally helped my sore throat. I just could not believe it. It's one of my favorite products. I can't tell you how many times I feel, oh, I feel like I'm about to get sick. And I just drink it, and I instantly feel better. I just love that product. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. Yeah. So one, one thing that might be helpful that Barb has suggested to me a couple years ago was keeping a small inventory of the immunity products. Um, obviously, one of the benefits of having a Shackley business is that we don't need to keep an inventory. However, there is something to be said about people who have products on hand and do not have to wait the three or four days <clears throat> for shipping for a product. And if you make it known to your customers, hey, I have a couple products that will be great. If you ever run out, just let me know, and you will get text, you will get phone calls of people who are sick and they are looking to get better quickly. Mm -hmm. And so that was just a picture there of the vitalized immunity, um, the basic G wipes to disinfect your home, descent and resist, and credivites and probiotics. Obviously there's many more we could add to this. Um, garlic is really important, neutrophuron is really important, chewable C, uh, sustained release vitamin C, any of those are great products to have on hand and let your customers know. Um, so that's just an idea, and I'll tell you it will come in handy, and you will get some good um, response from that. And also, I figure if I don't use any of these products, our family is going to use them anyway, so it's not right. good. they're not going to go to waste. Mm -hmm. um, and also, in the picture in the center there is um, an idea I have for if you know anybody that works in an office, you and who might be a customer or maybe they're a distributor. You might suggest keeping um, a container or a bowl of samples out. So in that, it's a little hard to see because it's from far away, but in that bowl is just some tea, mind work, vitalized immunity, and Vivix. And then um, he's going to keep some germ off wipes, the mind work, and energy chews on his desk. And he thinks that there will be a lot of people who will ask him about the product. So it's just a great way, again, of getting the Shackley word out. And then... Um, in the upper right-hand corner, that's a little snack bag, and in there are just samples that I'm keeping in my purse because you will be amazed how many times people say, I'm tired. Hey, try these energy chews. Or somebody's feeling stressed, you can give them a stress relief. Or somebody's feeling sick. If you have these products on hand and they're in your purse, you will be amazed how many times you'll be able to give people a sample, and they will they will love it. And so just remember that, too, to keep <laughs> It reminds me about that story with Jennifer Lee, who was in the oh, restaurant, and, she, and the waitress was oh, saying, yeah. oh, yes. Pull that out. Pull that out. Yeah. And then the next thing we know, all the waitresses were coming over from the alfalfa. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, <laughs> good. love that. So, Lisa, show us some of the numbers then behind just these these ideas of just contacting a few folks with even just that um the, the immunity the package. Immune, yeah, the immune products, yeah. Yeah, yeah, really. You know, it's, it's kind of cool when you do play with some of the numbers because you can see how well it adds up. Um, and, and when we are kind of talking about this concept, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time to make 10 phone calls. It doesn't. It's more of a mental thing. So if you if you look at this and you look at these numbers and you think, well, gosh, I might want an extra 120 or $700 for my next paycheck, uh, it's just an intention, an intention. You know, you just you decide, I'm going to do this. And so think of 10 families 
families who want to stay healthy through the holidays and offer a special package. Maybe you could offer free shipping if you want, but to offer that immune package. And if you have 10 families that do 103 PV, you're going to get 12% and that's $120. If you have 20 families, of course, you know we're going to get 2060 Now we're looking into the, the director range and you've got a nice $700 of holiday spending money or extra money because you've taken the time to just be intentional and commit to talking to 20 families about uh, you know a, a, a supplement package that will make a huge difference for them and their health. So it is good to look at the numbers. It's very mm -hmm. uh, impactful you know, to share a package like this. But, and look, it's almost the same amount of activity, you know. And and I realize when people look at this slide, they're going to say, well. I'd be willing to make those calls, but I don't know what to say. Well, we're going to give you some dialogues in just a, a couple of slides. But notice how the difference between just con contacting 10 families, and you know what? Everyone may not buy all 100 PV, but maybe they're going to buy 50 PV to have a right. few. That's, that's how people, you, you know, once you use those, those immune products and you it, and it helps you to stay healthy or get healthy. You know, you're hooked. I mean, that's why I would, I, if I'm getting low on any of those, I am buying the next ones, having them as backup because they work so well. But just look at the difference. Just get, that's why we always talk here about let's get everybody to the director level, to the 20% level because $700 is a significant Yes. Um, nice check that you could be receiving in December and then in January, when mm -hmm. just in time to pay those. Especially uh, when the bills, bills come in. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to our next collection of products. I'm really excited about these, Katie. All right. So, so many people are interested in losing an inch or so, and but the important thing is that um, think about uh, Barb was saying yesterday how when uh, we're around other family members, that's when we want to be looking our best. So some people don't want to wait until January. And, you know, this is what's so great about the turnaround kit is the average participant in a Shackley 180 clinical trial lost 15 pounds in 12 weeks. And that's about 5 pounds in 4 weeks. Um, and so a few inches in fat disappearing in time to make an entrance in your new holiday party clothes. And um, that generates about 172 PV costs about nine dollars a day for a member price and that gives them two meals plus snacks and um, also generates um, four hundred dollars worth of PV and plus the price differential now that they added on to the kits of an extra three hundred dollars so that totals um, seven hundred dollars which is awesome just from focusing on the 180 11.6 people who want to get into their clothes. I mean, I know a lot of those 0.6 people. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think that is such a powerful uh, offer to people. Mm -hmm. And and nine dollars a day. You know, one someone when when Shackley 180 was coming out, somebody came up with a great idea to ask people what they spend outside their home on food and I'll tell you that was kind of a surprise to me because I work inside my home and I and I make all my own food so I don't eat out that much nine dollars is nothing yeah I think I some people spend that on coffee alone and I, yes and they and and lunches even at like fast food restaurants where they're you know on budgets and stuff they're talking six seven dollars mm -hmm. So this is a, and have something healthy, and I love what you said earlier, Katie, about I'm so aware now of how I feel after eating certain foods uh -huh. and, and being on the road, and, and you're absolutely right. After you have a, a 180 smoothie or even a bar, you feel good. You have energy, and many, how many people have we had who've lost significant weight? And they're excited about the weight loss, but what do they always say first? Say, the weight loss is great, but it's how I feel. I yep. feel so much better. That, that's what, you, to really enjoy the holidays, don't you need your energy and your health? And so yeah, I just yeah. think this is a powerful idea. And that was why, if you want to click, Joe, we, um, Joe and I got this idea that we want to have every week give you kind of a Facebook idea of the 
Oh, it should be of the week. <laughs> it's like, well, this one is so good, it could be the idea. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we have to unmute Moira now and um, and Susan and... Um, and done deal. And Julie, okay. Is, um, I saw, I think, Susan, this was your brainchild uh, that c came up with this idea, but it was another one of those Facebook events that we talked about last week and so um, Moira are you want to get us started we didn't test your audio are you there I am here okay Yay. okay, okay. Uh -huh. yes <clears throat> and so tell us you and Susan came up with this I guess it was Susan's idea but um, just tell them briefly what that is I thought it was so clever okay um, yeah it was it was Susan's idea she's brilliant um, but we happen to be together so we talked about it a little bit more and you know we talked about kind of what you mentioned in the beginning was that we want to help to get, we want to try to get on top of talking with people about losing weight now or at least staying trim. I mentioned to Susan that a couple of years ago when we had Cinch uh, before 180, I put together a, um, you know, a group, a weight loss challenge group or whatever we called it. And there was probably about tw 12 women. Pam and I did it together. Um, and it started the beginning, I don't know, sometime in October, but we were talking about this very subject, staying slim for the, um, during the holiday season, and we would get together once a week, and it was accountability and ideas and all kinds of things, but what their ladies really enjoyed was that they did not gain any weight over the holidays. Um, mm. Now, they didn't lose, most of them didn't lose, but they were thrilled that they didn't gain anything. So, again, we've learned that Doing something on Facebook can be a really wonderful way to reach out to others um, when they won't come to your home or they're out of state. So um, Susan, Julie, and I got together and started thinking about this and what could we do and, um, you know, to just give them some tips and not just tell them Shackley products, but some tips about exercising and moving and kind of pull some statistics and information in there. So. It was a really an educational type of uh, forum. No, oh, it was excellent. Great idea. And Julie, this was your first Facebook event, right? It was. And so what was your experience with it, and, and what would you want to share with folks who haven't done these yet? Got to tag along with two seasoned <laughs> people. It was great. Um, no, it was really a, um, you know, I've been on... Um, other Facebook events that people have had to kind of help answer questions or make comments or, or whatnot, and I thought, gosh, this just this just looks so seamless and easy. Um, however, it does take some time to to you know pull your content together, but it was a great experience to do that, um, particularly when you've got help with two people that have done it before. I loved our topic. Um, and it really forced me to get my message um, consolidated and more focused. Most of you that don't know me, I talk a lot with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, how do I translate okay, that, I visualize that okay. <laughs> into a Facebook post <laughs> so that it sounds sort of exciting and, you know, whatever. So if there's a trick to that, um, and I will admit I took two stress complex before the event, <laughs> but once it got rolling, um, there was great interaction with the people that were in attendance. Um, there were a couple other sales leaders on, too, that kind of chimed in or maybe shared a testimonial or a little comment, which is always wonderful for people to hear from other people, um, not just the hosts, mm -hmm. and I just, I just found it really a lot more fun and encouraging than I really anticipated. Um, it's, um, I think everyone that is like me that maybe has sat in on a few but hasn't really got their feet wet, um, I thank Moira and Susan for letting me uh, take along and get my feet wet because it was really good. So I encourage everybody to do it. Just mm -hmm. pick a topic that... Pick a topic that inspires you or just something really fun. Um, maybe it's stress in the holidays or, like, um, you know, the one we did I thought was really fun because you could incorporate 
it's not all Shackley. There's other tips that yeah. we incorporated, which I think yeah. um, that was nice. It, Great. So mm -hmm. I encourage mm -hmm. you know people partner with a Shackley sister or two, <laughs> have fun with it. I know I'm excited to to do more because of mm. this. So thank you, Moira. Excellent. And Susan, um, Susan, we didn't test your audio. Are you there? I am here. Can you oh, good. Me? Okay. Is um, you've now done several. This was your brainchild. Congratulations on your genius. I love it. I'm dreaming of a light Christmas. I love stuff like that. But um, what you have. What you've really worked on, um, and I, and I, Julie and I were talking about this this morning, is that the first time people do this, you're kind of, and or an in-home meeting or any event, you're focused on what you're going to say, what you're going to present, how it's going to, how it's going to go. The second time, you start focusing on inviting and how to increase your attendance, and you've really picked up some ideas around that, right? That help with this one too. Yeah, you really have to be creative and reach out to people in different ways. And um, I'd call a few people. I have a group of people I text, uh, several people I Facebook message. And that day, you know, I got a couple other people who said, oh, yeah, I, I want to be on. So then I made a list of people of who I knew were definitely going or maybes. And mm -hmm. I texted them a reminder 15 minutes ahead of time. Because, you know, when we're all getting ready to go to a party that's at 7 o'clock in the neighborhood or somewhere, we're getting ready and preparing and getting dressed and all that, but when you're home and it's just to face something online, you're gonna I forget all the time. You know, yeah, have, and you're washing the dishes and right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're not getting ready and preparing. So um, I felt that was helpful too to just set, send the reminder out starting in ten minutes. See you there. Very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, all three of you. This is another great idea, and it's so great. So, what? If I can um, mention just go ahead. If I can just mention one thing. Mm -hmm. Two, I think it's great. I mean, I love working with Susan and Julie and my Shackley sisters. Um, but what I found with this event, as well as I did one with two of my new leaders on uh, Monday night, is it's nice to have three on because if there's a lot of interaction, you know, it, you have. Um, it's nice to have a third person or somebody that can kind of, kind of go back, you know, sweep back, and you know, because people will come on late or they'll make a comment on you know, post five and you're already on 12 and they ask a question and if, if the people are, you know, the people are focused, the people that are running it are focused on putting the posts up, they may not see that question. So I found that on Monday for sure, I kind of looked at the new notifications and I'd answer questions that they may have had. And yes. Julie and Susan and I were all doing that on Monday because we all were following things. Mm -hmm. And um, so you're able to keep up because people will ask questions or they'll say, I want that assessment sheet or I want the recipe book or I'd like to talk with you about this or what about this. So it's good to have more than one because you can really, um, you know, mm -hmm. and they end up going on for almost two hours. <coughs> and and your, results, your results come in over the next few days, and I realize you just did this yesterday, but um, ha have you seen, you, didn't Moira, you see some activity already? Well, I did. The gal that I had, one of the gals that I had on, um, she posted, she said, oh, I want I want to get that, but I think I'm too late with my auto ship. And I said, I don't think so. I haven't seen it go through. Well, she went into her auto ship that night while we were on the event and added a couple of products, Great. and it ended up that it was shipping the next day. And Great. then at the end, she said, I do want to talk to you because um, we're going to go out for coffee, of course. And uh, she said, my daughter's really sick, so I want to talk about trying to help my daughter. It opens in a whole other conversation, doesn't it? Um, the last thing just before we leave the slide, Joe, is that imagine now taking this idea and running how many of these events would you want to run between now and let's say the second week or third week of December. Is It, it could be an hour long, an hour and a half long, whatever, it, but imagine now running this idea several times between between now and the holidays. I think that's what, and even if someone cannot attend, you're sending out this message. Now they know you have information on this. And so when you, when you call people and service, and we've got some ideas we're going to give you in just a few minutes with some dialogue, this is something that you can talk to them about now and you've got some ideas about it. And you know, you can do <clears throat> big packages like the one we just showed you turn around or you can do little packages, just even getting a can of Shackley 180 and starting to have that for your for one meal a day, even something like that. So it opens up a great discussion. Thank you, all three of you. Mm -hmm. It's great. Katie. Um, 
Right. So eating and staying slim um, <clears throat> over the holidays is very important, as we've been talking about. And, you know, I just have to add, with the meal bars and snack bars, I know Susan really liked this story, so I'll share this. When last week or a couple weekends ago, I was traveling down to North Carolina, and we got stuck because um, the mountains had, I think it was like 13 inches of snow. And we were stuck for, I think, three or four hours where we couldn't go anywhere. Um, and we finally got off. And when we got off, um, all these people were gathered around a gas station, and the gas station was out of power. Oh. I said that story because there are times that come up where there's an emergency situation, and I am so thankful that our family has those meal bars and snack bars, or I mm-hmm. think uh, myself or my kids would have gone a little bit crazy had we not had those, you know, available. Yeah. So just remember that because, you know, those things happen, mm-hmm. especially on the road, and if you live anywhere up north, you can get stranded. It's happened even down south before where people have gotten stranded before for half a day. And so just keep those in your car. Um, also, the metabolic boost is great at burning fat and reducing carb cravings. And then the B-complex, which we all love the B-complex because it helps with um, converting our fats into energy. It helps with mood. And so many of us are very low in B vitamins. So this is a great pack for the, for the holidays. And keep in mind also, a lot of folks do airplane travel over the holidays and talk about getting stranded and being um, stuck without um, food. I always, always, when I, I always in my, in my tote bags, always have bars. Cause well, you and just, it, you it costs a small fortune to eat anything in the airport. <laughs> I mean, just a small Probably fortune. Probably triple you the have, cost. Yeah, you have to be a millionaire to have a muffin or something. It's crazy. I couldn't believe it. So, you know, I just remember something, and I'm going to interject real quick before Katie uh, gets to the next slide. Dr. Ch- um, Dr. Daggy over the weekend shared some thoughts about, uh, you know, the 180 program, and he has worked with before Shackley with a couple of different companies, and he said, you need to know that people are making decision right now about what yeah. program they're going to do after Christmas. And he said with the companies that he worked with, December 26th, the phone would start ringing, and it would ring nonstop until January 3rd. He says, if you wait to January 8th or 10th to talk to people about what they're going to do to lose weight, they've already decided and they've already started. So I just think it's an important um, aspect to to think about right now in this conversation and and all the different things that have been shared so beautifully about this product line. This is the time people are already thinking, they're anticipating that they're going to do something. So it's a great time. Even if you reach out and talk about the bars just like Katie did, it's a great way to say, now look, this is a special program. So, mm, Excellent. Mm. So if you were to team up with other leaders, like the ladies were sharing about the importance of teaming up so um, for a Facebook event, which is really important because there can be a lot of conversations, a lot of questions. So look for other people to team up. Typically an event generates around 250 PV. So if you just set up four events, one event every week, you would have a thousand PV right there. So think about over the next six weeks how many uh, various events you could have. Um, stress relief we'll talk about in just a second. People want more energy. Um, and then obviously this whole idea with the 180 um, are all great ideas that you can do right on Facebook. Also, you can do conference calls or you can have in home events. They've had. Um, People do smoothie smackdowns, which I meant to ask Sunni about that um, yesterday when I was talking to her. Mm-hmm. But um, that's another idea of different things that you can do um, to generate TV over the holidays. Excellent. Nice. Good. All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit about the digestion issue and some of the things that we can offer that will make such a significant difference. Now, and I, I was remembering this um, just a little bit ago. We had Thanksgiving in our house a few, well, it's back probably about 2003, 2004, and one of our guests for Thanksgiving was halfway through the meal, and you could see that he was just in so much pain. And um, I asked him what's going on, and he had for like you know five years has such bad digestive issues uh, that anytime he ate, he hurt so much. And he was in anyway, a long backstory. I pulled out of my cabinet my Easy Jess, and I said, "Take this." I kid you not. 
you can count backwards from 10 when you take easy jazz and you could feel the results anyways today he's still one of my members and you know it's just it's just important because these these products here can make such a massive impact so quickly so we have easy jest which uh, is a fantastic product to have when you've eaten something and your tummy is kind of bloating and growing and hurting optiflora which is got a million different I think benefits but Really, uh, again, the core product that he is on now still to keep his digestive tract in, in check. Um, stomach soothing complex also can be chewed and made into a tea, but really wonderful. Uh, that's a lot of healing for people who have a lot of pain in their guts. I think stomach soothing can be really mm. healing to the 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 lining in the stomach. It makes a great tea, also. So I just yeah. I just love it as a nice tea at night. Mm -hmm. It's just great. And then Herblax, which of course does what we could just imagine that it does, and it does it really well. So uh, this is just a really great holiday eating package, you could call it. I like that. About 41 PV, and it, it does a nice job uh, helping But see, see how inexpensive these products are. And they're a lovely add-on to say, and oh, by the way, does anyone in your house ever have digestive issues around the holidays? We're eating a lot of rich foods, and um, and and oh, and there we have some. <laughs> but it's a, it's such an easy thing to educate our customers about when you're in conversation with them. Good. Yeah. Okay. So Lisa, yeah. go through a couple of them. Very well, good. and even to be able to say, and you know, it's funny. I don't usually have a lot of digestion issues, but if we eat out at restaurants, I do, and I'll be in a lot of pain. And just to say, gosh, uh -huh. I'm so thankful I have this little bottle of Easy Just because sometimes I just pay such a price, you know. So <laughs> this is my favorite slide, and I have to point this out because I'm just trying to imagine how it would go if I called someone and I said, Does anyone in your house have gas? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Barb, for these words. I love it. But no, they're really good. They're it really was good you now. say that gently. Oh, by the way, I does anyone ever experience any yeah. uncomfortable <laughs> intestinal issues? Oh, but it's true, and I'll tell you what, every household does have gas. I'm sure of it. And they do have bloating <laughs> and and heartburn and so it's great. And so you can just see a couple of things that you could say, or you could say to people, Do you ever have problems when you eat out or you have holiday foods causing you stomach upset, you know, do you know about Shackley's stomach soothing complex? Um, or, you know what, sometimes I'll do this. I just heard the most amazing story about this product and someone who's done so well with it. I love to use that third party. It just feels so much uh, more comfortable for me. Or have you ever used Shackley's Optiflora? Boy, is it important. Not only does it help with digestion, but uh, it is a huge component to having a healthy immune system. So we'll talk, you know, again, these are just some ideas, but uh, develop your own language and get some clues from the language in here and, and start to talk with people because that's that's the key. I'll add that. That's quite nice. I've I think I've, I think I've just is. heard the most amazing story about uh, a product for digestion. Does anybody ever have issues with that at your house? That's lovely. Very yeah, because nice. yeah. Go ahead. Okay, well, stress, Katie. Why did I do that one for a, you? <laughs> I think the key is to invest in a very large purse. <laughs> I need a bigger person. <laughs> um, all right, so the holiday stress relief, everybody's always very stressed around the holidays, but also the holidays can sometimes be difficult for people, too, for a variety of reasons. So stress relief is an amazing product. And, you know, I just have to share a little bit. Um, I had uh, Craig Cushman, who is new to Shackley, who shared this concept with me about a book called Blue Ocean Strategy. And Blue Ocean Strategy is a way of looking at products that we have in the business that are not in competition with one another. Meaning our Blue Ocean products would be MindWork, Vivix, Stress Relief, Nutrifuron, different products that nobody else has. And the importance of focusing on that. Um, a red, red product would be more competitive in nature and those would look more like a multivitamin or a protein that other companies have. And I think uh, my mindset really switched to start leading with these products because they're truly really re unique and the stress relief, I can't tell you how many times I've had a conversation with somebody who said, wow, I want to try that because they realize mm -hmm. it's such a unique product because <clears throat> so many products um, that help with stress often um, are prescription which have a list of side effects or what I have found too is they make you drowsy and what I love about the stress relief is it, it relaxes the body 
But it also, it doesn't make you drowsy. It doesn't leave you drowsy. And it blunts that cortisol production, which is really important. It's also really important for our weight because we know when we have an uh, increase in cortisol, we have an increase in fat around our stomach. And so mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. also really important. Good to point. And B-com- mm-hmm. B-complex um, is lost a lot of times under stress. It's water-soluble. Um, so it must be replenished daily, and it's essential for our nervous system and brain. So that's stress package. <laughs> And just those two products, which would make such a wonderful gift to somebody, um, mm. is 37 PV. And then we also, a uh, concern that people have around the holidays is energy. Everybody is just running, running, running. They're shopping, they're going to this, they're going to that. So telling them about Vitalizer, about how they can get any nutrients in this really convenient pack. And I just love how portable that is. I have found our vitalizer strips in the randomest locations in our house. <laughs> my husband, I'm like, where did that come from? But it's nice how portable it is. And just be careful not to uh, put it in the washing machine because that might have happened before mm-hmm. um, to us. And um, B-Complex that we talked about, the energy chews. I love these. And um, we shared a couple weeks ago the importance of having energy chews for driving because a lot of fatalities happen uh, due to drowsiness of drivers. And we, we kept those in our car um, while we were doing our long commute, and those were great to have on hand. And just anytime you need a little extra burst of energy. I know people have um, traveled overseas, and they had jet lag, and they took those with, and they said, wow, I, I it helped me with my jet lag. It got me through that. Mm-hmm. And then also this healthy foundations, which I just love this pack because this is just such a great foundation for people, and it gives them so much energy because they're having the vitalizer strip. And then they're also getting that protein with all all of the nutrients from the protein as well. Mm. That's a nice and, and great, great collection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so here are some different conversation starters for when you call customers. Um, tell me about what happens in your house during the holidays on a scale of one to ten. Where is your stress stress level typically during the holidays? And most but most of the time, people rate their stress really high. Um, and if they don't, then something's going on. They're probably not telling the truth because it's, it's a pretty, very stressful time of year. Or they have um, pleasant relatives or something. Yeah. 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 Um, also, how does your family make it through the holidays with colds and with flu? You know, it's you know it's difficult when somebody's sick around the holidays or when you have kids sick around the holidays, and and that changes your plans. You can't you can't go to a family party or different things like that. And yeah. so talking to them about that and, and our products with the immunity, um, do you see how these are just questions? You're just you're merely just asking questions. Um, or, you know, the digestion ones that Lisa said, those are perfect, especially for Thanksgiving. Everybody should have a bottle of Easy Dress, some excusing with some probiotics on hand um, for the Thanksgiving because everybody eats too much and then you get, you have digestion issues. Um, and then also just anybody at your house wanting to lose weight or have an inch off their waist um, before, before the holidays. Um, it seems very interesting that a lot of people consider January a big weight loss time, but nobody sees but nobody sees you in January, so wouldn't it be nice time to lose the weight before the big social season? <laughs> and then you. we have um, an idea that I started last, uh, I think it was last year, yeah. And I just wanted to, while I was sending out my Christmas cards, I just wanted to also send out a special card for my Shackley family and people who had been supporting me in the business because I just wanted them to know how appreciative I was of them. And so I included um, in there a coupon for my customers. And on the right-hand side, um, it says Sour Off Vitamin D Lip Treatment dish, Dish Wash or Basic H Wipes. All of those they could choose from. They could redeem the coupon and choose from. Um, and those were all gifts that were ten dollars and under. And I think you could, we could even include Basic H on there. And so it's a great way of saying, hey, thank you for your support, and you're not spending a lot of money. They're trying a new product, and they're also getting the PV for it. And then on the left hand side, those I gave to people who were really supportive of my business. So people who um, placed really large orders every month and who've been really supporting me for a while. And those gifts. Um, were twenty dollars and under. So it's the B complex, the hand wash performance, hand and body lotion, energy chews, and the baby um, massage oil. Also, I'd have to add on there to send and resist. I gave somebody um, they had a baby recently, and I told her she could pick from a list, and she picked the 
to try and raise it um, mm-hmm. to step on Pam. You could also, if you're looking for ways to generate um, PV in December, you could even write an expiration date. Please redeem by, um, you know, December 31st. Or, um, and then you can, if you're a director and above, you can um, do the gift fulfillment and you can just have that added on to their next order, which is really nice because then it just gets added on um, to their order and you don't have to worry about getting it to them or shipping it to them. Um, so just know that that's one option and it's a great way of saying thank you to your customers and appreciating them. And Katie, did they call you then after they make their choice? Did, did they call you to tell you what choice um, they want? Most of them um, emailed me. Um, or just told me. I don't know if I necessarily got a lot of calls, but I did get a lot of emails and I got a lot of people who did get back to me about that. They said, hey, can you add this to my order? I got your coupon. Um, I will say some of them I didn't put an expiration date, and I think I might do that this year because some of them, you know, it was like two months later, three months later, and they're like, oh, my God, which is still fine. But, you know, the goal I think is... It needs, with yeah. it, but you know what I like about it? It gives you a reason also yes, to phone, yes. to phone them mm-hmm. with these other ideas and say, well, I have you on the phone. I want to be sure that you know about. There's several products that most of us always want to have handy through the holidays. May I tell you about them? And that's why you ask the questions, does anybody in your house have digestive issues? If they say no, then you don't tell them about the digestive products. Um, tell me about how, how, do you, how does your family get through the holidays with colds, viruses, that kind of stuff. Here are the products I would never be without. And then you gives you a reason to talk to, about those. So it, that, that's a nice lead into that. like that idea a lot. Mm-hmm. I also think it's important. We need to, you know, separate ourselves from the clamor of, uh, you know, advertising that people are exposed to at this time of the year. And this is just such a nice, gentle way to say, you know, thank you. I appreciate you. You're important to me. It's a great mm-hmm. idea. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very nice. It feels good. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. More gift ideas, Katie. So oh, there's lots of different gift ideas. I think one of the best gift ideas is you can do a basic H and a spray bottle. And that basic H and spray bottle are about $17 for membership pricing. But they're getting such a good value of the basic H because it, uh, is it 64 gallons of a cleaner? Is that how much mm-hmm. it generates? And 40, also, 48. It's 48 gallons on the little guy. But it's basically a year's supply of, yeah. and, and it's you know what I should have what I should have put on here is the note that goes with it, wishing you and the planet a mm-hmm. happy and healthy new year. Um, green giving is really popular now. That's a nice. I, I'll, I'll make a note to next time we do this one and put it on there. Okay. And think um, think of people, um, for example, teachers. Um, uh, there's a lot of you know teachers that you always give gifts for. And as a former teacher, you can only get so much chocolate and fudge. I mean, to be honest, you just get overwhelmed with so many cookies. And so think of a different alternative for your children's teachers. Um, this is a great idea, and to include the spray bottles, too, is really nice. Bonnie Donahue has a wonderful blog that we're going to attach, and she uh, to this beautiful gift-giving idea with lots of different ideas to give to somebody. Also, you could do a pair of slippers with a multi-purpose cream, formerly known as the foot cream. Um, that multi-purpose cream is just, I mean, I just started handing these out to people, and people are amazed at how it, it helps with the bites and the cuts and the dry mm-hmm. skin and the, mm-hmm. just various ailments. They're like, wow, I can't believe how well my skin's reacting to this. And it's very inexpensive. It's only $7 for a member. Um, and then... Another idea would be the energy pack where you have some energy chews and energy tea with a no hand and body lotion is also a wonderful gift. So there's lots of different people that you give gifts to. Even thinking of uh, if you have your kids in a church setting, some of the workers there that help with that or Mm -hmm. um, if you go to a gym, um, thanking some of those people. So just think about people who serve you on a weekly basis how you can give back to them and also let them know about these wonderful products. Nice. Very good. Very good. So one of the things when we're giving gifts to people, and you can go ahead and click, Joe, um, 
that's okay, <clears throat> is that when you, when you give gifts and products to people as Christmas gifts, I think it's really important to add a little personal touch to it because you just don't want, you don't want it at all to come across, well, these are the products they're selling and they're just marketing through Christmas time, right? So you want to make it special. And so here's some really cute ideas around the energy pack um, to just write something, no, something cute to go along with it that just makes it feel thoughtful and a little bit more intentional than just, you know, giving your products away, if that makes sense. So here's a little quote, what the world needs now is love, sweet love, these will supply the energy, you <laughs> supply the love, you know, and then you can see this cute balloon in the middle, positive energy can heal the universe, life be begets life, energy creates energy, it is by spending oneself that one becomes rich, and then you can write down, here's my little gift of energy to you, I love you, Merry Christmas, but the key is, is that get creative, and I am just still even now more and more impressed with Google Images, I know you all think I'm probably 10 years behind, but you can go to Google's in mm -hmm. Google Images and type in a, a word like that, and get the most beautiful quotes. I, I pulled one up for our, our team page the other day about changing the world and had this cute little kid's feet. You know, anyways, the point I'm saying is if you want ideas, they're out there. So pick some products that you want to share with someone, but then get something special that you can either write in a little note card or something to to add to that to just make it feel um, extra Christmassy if, if you want to see it that way. So. Nice, very nice. Good. So it's personalizing it, and I love your idea. And where do you think all these images come from? <laughs> yeah, people thought you were doing them yourself. Oh, you thought I was creating. <laughs> oh, no, no. But uh, but what's interesting is there were many of the um, of some of the quotations about energy that were um, very quite personal about people who may have been through difficulties and about helping. It's just beautiful quotes about redirecting energy when away from worry and into love and things like that. So you could pick something that was appropriate for the person you're sending it to and it's just a lovely way to personalize it. And then I love your little idea of the note, here's my little gift of energy for you with yeah. love. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. Uh, very yeah. nice. L very nice. Good. Okay, Katie. All right. So some ways to generate PV early in December. I love this idea um, of having a customer appreciation open house or brunch where people can get an extra discount for coming. You can even do this on Facebook. This is not something that you have to do necessarily live, although I think having it live would definitely be of value to people as a way of just saying thank you so much <clears throat> for your support in my business. I really want to appreciate you. So feel free to come and you'll get an extra discount or whatever you want to offer to people and have, <coughs> sorry, just have a wonderful um, brunch or just different festive foods, snacks, different things like that that people always love and have different products that you can feature over the holidays. So having just a little bit of products out that will, that people can see and, and taste and use, I think are great. Um, also, there's a lot of um, holiday fairs with vendors and other um, people in other businesses, and so it's a great time to connect with them and to partner with them and, and promote um, alongside of their business. And you can also offer free shipping on a specific day or days. And while we were talking, I just thought about how we are coming, I can't believe how quickly Thanksgiving is coming up, um, to Black Friday, and then it's uh, Small Business Saturday, and then Cyber Monday. And I think those are all ways you can come up with your own creative little Black Friday deal or Cyber Monday, you know, especially Cyber Monday. People are online a lot on Monday, getting all their gifts online. And so it's a great way to offer an incentive of free shipping or something or a discount on an immunity product, just come up with something creative and post it on Facebook or uh, do a newsletter and let them know of the promotion that you'll be doing. Very nice. Great ideas. Mm -hmm. Very good. So um, as we think about this time of year, um, holiday season is really a wonderful time for us to um, do some inter you know it, it, you can get in such a flurry of activity and and just get busy and it's just a good time just to kind of have a quiet moment and think about how all of us could really be better listeners than talkers that we can trust that we're going to meet people over the holidays that we're supposed to meet mm -hmm. and 
and not always um, you know, I, I just remember when I started in Shackley, sometimes I would be in a telling mode. And when I'd be in you know, in social environments, sometimes you can get more nervous and more excited and you can talk more than you intend to. And um, it's just such a great time to just think about all the things that we've been learning here about things that connect us with people and allow allow people to contribute to us, learn from others. Some, some people have some really interesting jobs or they or they read a lot and they have really interesting things that they read. So it's just a great time for that. And then, Joe, you want to add some of your thoughts about... Yeah, and I think, um, like you were saying, but it's a time for us to, to, when we're out and about and we're around people and meeting people, we need to get the focus off ourselves and on other people. That's why it's important for us to make sure we're in a good health state, you know, with the Shackley products, but I just love starting conversations with people about, well, tell me what's what's going on at your house over the holidays, or if it's someone you haven't seen for a long time, you can say, well, tell me what's going on in your life, tell me what your year was like, tell me what the kids are doing now, and it just is, as a conversation starter, it's wonderful because it just opens people up mm -hmm. and they just start you know they, they start telling you things about themselves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you know and you don't need to then you don't need to you don't need to transition or connect it to Shackley right then and there just make sure when you get home or you get to your car or go to the bathroom take your purse take out your little notebook write down their name write down what they said and then you know get back to them in a, in a few days or a week or right after the holidays and mm -hmm. say you know, when we were together at uh, at the neighborhood party, you happened to mention, you know, I've got some ideas around that. How about we get together for coffee? Nice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And actually, um, picking up on what Katie said earlier, is there are two times of the year that are prime time for people to start businesses. One is September, yeah. August, September, when kids go back to school, and the other is absolutely January. Mm -hmm. So we may learn something in our conversations that we will want to circle back. And you know, when we talk about one of the three elements of connection with people is acknowledging, when you call someone back and say, I was thinking about our conversation over the holidays, and I want to run an idea by you around that. I just think that's a that's a lovely thing to say to somebody, you know that that they, they they impressed you so much. And remember, when you offer somebody um, an invitation to join your business team, it's kind of like offering them a job, which is really something very flattering. Mm -hmm. It's really saying, you know, if ever um, you're looking for something. There would always be a place for you in my company. You know, it, it's just um, it's a it's just a lovely um, acknowledgement of people. So very good, Barb. What you, I want to hitch onto that because what you just said about acknowledging people. You know, to say you know I've had you on my mind since we talked. You know, whatever. I I know this skill. I use it. I do it. But I got a call from my cousin the other day, and she she just said, "Hi, Joe." She said, I, "I I was just thinking of you." She said, "I was reading the lovely thank you you sent me after your birthday party this summer," and she said, "I, I just I wanted to ch I wanted to check in with you." That made oh. me feel like a million bucks. Yeah. Oh. And oh. I knew what she was doing. <laughs> she didn't know, but I did. It worked. <laughs> it, it, it is. It, you know, it taking the time us. to call somebody yes. is a really lovely gesture. Yeah, very, very nice. Us. Good. So okay. Funny. That brings us to our action steps, oh, Lisa. That cracks me up. Okay. So. You should set some goals to make some courtesy calls, uh, maybe 10 a week, offering some information on a couple of these these kits, these packages we've talked about. If you're making um, some calls about MindWorks, you might want to do more, You know, maybe 10 to 15 a day instead of 10, 10 a week. It's, it's always amazing to me when I'm working with a leader and we talk about making calls and like, oh, that would take so long, and I'm like, well, just time it. See how long it actually takes to make 10 calls, and it's much less than we think. So I think it's a great idea to set a goal to make some calls, to talk about 
about these kits, reach out to people and see um, how you can make an impact for them this holiday season with some of these, these suggestions. And then initiate conversations, uh, listening for needs and wants and just reaching out and, and being um, you know intentional to connect with people. Invite your top business partners, here's a cute idea, invite your top business partners over for potluck dinner, I like this. Discuss your goals for January, oh, I love that, I'm going to have to plan something, that's good. Uh, capture the names and contact information of the people you're meeting. So I love Joe's idea. Just go to the bathroom and take your purse and <laughs> make some notes. And if someone says, what are you doing in there? Say, I'm working. Don't bother me. <laughs> No, I like it. So good. You be aware. I think a lot of things slip through the cracks that shouldn't. So just make sure you're prepared to write down notes. I have a lot of notes written on trash that I find in my car because something comes to me. It's really important. Um, and then practice asking the tell me about questions, active listening. Again, it's a, it's a great way to be special and set apart. And I like the way, Joe, you said it kind of rise above the clamor. Uh, and yeah. not we don't want to necessarily jump into the flow of marketing so much. We want to be real and we want to touch people's lives and we want to connect with them. So, okay. And if I can just mention the next next week, we have a really exciting, <laughs> I think, webinar because Don Semeca is going to come and he's going to talk about uh, a little bit of the history with Shackley, right? And Dr. Shackley's story yes. and then transitioning to Roger Barnett. So I was just thinking I wanted to mention that if you guys want to add anything to that, but it's going to be a good one. So. Very nice. This is great. Okay, there are a number of... Um, of questions here, Joe, you want to, should we start fielding a bit? Sure. There were a number about, um, when you came on, we were already having a discussion. Yes, you know, we try to keep um, the training <laughs> section to one hour. We don't always succeed, but we really, we really work at that. But there's always um, a lot of additional promotions and ideas and th so we tuck them in to what we call the pre-call. And we start that, what did you say, Joe, about 10-2? Uh, yes. And so when you come on that, that and and so that's why when you came on there were a hundred people because people have learned that we do that. But there's often a lot of really good information there. So, um, but we also have to check our audio. So that's why uh, we don't um, we, we do it in a pre-call. So th thanks for that. Um, last week is when we talked about Facebook events in detail. They should be that session should be posted at bobsfiles.net now and. Um, Susan and Moira just laid out all the specifics for you. You go to a Facebook event section in Facebook to set that up. Yes. And you invite people to it. Okay, Joe, you want to take a couple others? Yeah, the, someone was asking about a script for the call on MindWorks. And uh, we, when did we do that? We just oh, we did we've that. done that several times, ever since that was yeah. uh, back in September. Um, and that so and we wrote it all out and we ran we so that is on our materials that we did uh, back in in September you'll see in our session. well and I think that oh, we attached a MindWorks dialogue even two and three weeks ago because I printed right. one off the other day so I think if you go three weeks from today you'll find the MindWorks yeah. dialogue yeah. slide yeah. yeah but it, but if you think about it these dialogues are just if you call and say, you know, I, I want to be sure that you know about a new product that Shackley introduced just a couple of months ago. That's like the reason you're calling. There's your why, right? And then you say, um, so I've been saying, well, the reason I've been saying, the, we've been hearing such great results and feedback from people across all age groups. Yes, you know, on this, and, and then say what they are. You know, yeah. from memory to uh, focus, focus to cognitive function, just thinking faster, quicker, to even mood uh, mood improvement, mm -hmm. and uh, and it has been so effective that it now we've just learned is going to appear on a Dr. Phil show in uh, the first week of December. So I and there are several promotions connected to it. I want to be sure you know about because they're really good ones. And I found I had to. Um, I, I left mo mostly voicemail messages, and but got a, you know made contact with a few people. But it was interesting. The people I talked to, uh, they were all members, and they were saying, "Well, you know, I've been. Th I was thinking that maybe I should get that product." Um, I, I, I've, I've been thinking about that might help me. I just had a you know I'm in a new position at work, or mm. you know so yeah it doesn't really matter what you're saying as long as you just you know you get your script you make your connection and, and people will help you carry the conversation. That's right. Um, uh, there was a question about. Um, 
people having gas or bloating with Shackley 180. Lisa, you want to take that one? <laughs> yes, because I love talking about gas. Because we had a conversation about <laughs> gas. I remember that. Okay. Well, just since we're all such family and friends here, I can get a little gas and bloaty with sometimes with Shackley 180. Um, I think a, a key strategy is having the Optiflora. And, and Barb, we did have a good conversation about this recently, about having um, plenty of Optiflora in the system because uh, a lot of times you can get a little byproduct of, of gas with some of the things that are in the 180 products, not to mention that it's loaded with fantastic fiber and all of these things that make mm -hmm. us move, which mm -hmm. is good, but then sometimes that happens too. So I would I would uh, work with extra opta Florida, uh, Florida, Florida, and maybe a little easy jest. Um, and then sometimes for me, it's just the timing of when I use the products. If that and, well, and one of those ingredients is inulin, mm. which is what's in the Optiflora prebiotic. It's the food that feeds the probiotic, right? And so if you put the food in there and you don't have enough probiotic to eat it, then it lies in the gut and eventually it ferments and that's what causes the gas. Does that make yeah. sense? So yeah. so yeah, that optiflora then is 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 really helpful for that. Right, right. One of the best tips I did, um, I started just mixing my shakes with water instead of anything else. No no uh, you know, dairy milk, no um, soy milk, no almond milk, no nothing. And for whatever reason that was a key for me. So for and it tastes fantastic. So I do two scoops of one eighty and a scoop of the vitalizing protein in water. It tastes great and that has helped my my issues a lot. So good, very too. good. Yeah. Um, someone also suggested they keep the bag uh, that the energy chews come in after they finish them. They put one energy chew in there, <laughs> and then they use that when they are giving yeah, somebody a gift, so they get to see all of that. That's clever. Yeah, That's clever. Very and you nice. could do that with Mighty Smarts too. That is clever because then they have all the information. Yeah. Uh, right you there, do that yeah. with the MindWorks bo box. You know, there's a lot of information on that MindWorks box. I Very think good. Katie's right. We all need to go buy bigger purses. We just. <laughs> <laughs> Great I want to throw in Linda Bennett just shot me a message. She puts Easy Jest in her smoothies um, because it really helps her digest them because oh. of the bariatric surgery. So that's just something people can oh, think about too. Good yeah. idea. Uh, awesome. Someone asked if the Dr. Phil show has been taped yet. We have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, it hasn't shown yet, so it can't be taped yet. Is that what they're asking? Is yeah. So if they came in late, Lisa, maybe just review that real fast um, okay. about the new information, uh, the update on that. The Dr. Phil show now will be airing the first week of December. And you know what? Good things are going to happen. I'm just really excited because we, Jackley is so prepared for this one and so much has changed since even when we were on Oprah. So we will have a, a video clip of the Dr. Phil show almost immediately to start circulating on uh, social media with people about it. But we have to wait till it airs. <laughs> so nothing yet. We have to wait until the first week of December when it actually airs. I did hear, though, that starting next week that Shackley will have, um, you know, eye track uh, templates back in the the um, back office on the web on the member center of different the different promotions and Dr. Phil and stuff having to do with mind work. So we can look for those and utilize those. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So. Yeah, these are good. And and so people are now saying how they, they save all the containers, like the stress release bottle, the immunity, uh, vitalized immunity, fizz container, to, to put a sample in there to offer somebody. Clever. Smart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Also clever. Uh, someone is saying they don't understand, I think, the Facebook uh, event, I'm wondering if it was texting back and forth. Uh, it's on, you know, it's on Facebook, but it's done under events. And our session last week our outlined session ten. If you go to bobsfiles.net, bring up session ten. It outlines specifically the steps for doing Facebook events and setting it up. Everything. Yeah, the yeah. girls did a great mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, that's cool. Anyway, thanks. Every did we? Oh, and uh, Betsy asked about uh, Katie. Your um your your lovely um customer appreciation notes. You mailed those, right? You you mailed them postal mail. Oh, she, Katie, she mutes. I, I think she said she put them in with Christmas cards. Is that right, yeah. Katie? Are you there? Yeah. She uh -huh. muted a Christmas said, letter or a Christmas card. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. you know what? Either way, but I would just say, um, postal mail gets more attention today. You know, and, I agree. 
and and to put your note, then you can handwrite your note on there, and that's a lovely thing. And make it pretty. I always buy colored envelopes anymore because you want to not only have, you want it to be cute and pretty. Make it stand oh, out. Oh, pretty color. Well, or stickers. Stickers. Yeah. Barb and I have grand. We have grandsons the age of the stickers. Oh, fun! But you know, you can go to Current Current, and they have the cutest stickers. I love them. I always put I put them on my newsletter when I send them to my leaders. That you know, they have you know Snoopy Fall ones and Mary Engelbrights, and my favorite are Susie Zoo. You know, but they're um, it's just, it just. It, you know, I got the idea from Julie Schmid, who has she had the um, the stamps, you know, the rubber stamp mm-hmm. pants, yeah. mm-hmm. and she had the cutest things that you know, with different people on there. And so when you'd get a letter from Julie, she'd have these stamps all over, and it, it makes you smile before you open it up. It's a great idea. Cute. Very good cute. colored envelopes and something to jazz it up. Very cute. Nice. Uh, some the question is about when will MindWorks be on Dr. Phil, and it has been moved to the first week in December. We do not know the actual day. Mm-hmm. That's good. Lots of ideas today. Thank you, everybody. And next week, um, just to uh, repeat what. Lisa said earlier, we're going to be in a few minutes talking to Don Semeca, who is a master coordinator from uh, Denver and Lisa's upline and mm-hmm. upline master. And we've, we've asked Don to join us because so many of you uh, are new to Shackley over the last few years. And you may not be aware of the remarkable history of this company. Um, and there's kind of two stories behind the company. One is, you know, the the story of Dr. Shackley, which is a fascinating story. If you if you like history, I mean, he he lived at a time mm-hmm. of of the inventors and the innovators, and and um, you know, he was friends with Thomas Edison and people like that. I mean, those and and so he he contributed hugely to the science of nutrition from some of the early work that he did. Um, all the way, and his life story is quite interesting, but then there's the Roger Barnett chapter of the story, and that's equally fascinating, and what a remarkable individual he is, and what he has brought to our company, you know, in the last 10 years now, so Don's going to tell us a, a, a lot of that, I think you're going to really love that, that's something you would want your distributors to know about because it makes you really proud to be a part of this company. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anything else, Joe? I think, uh, wrap? I, think mm-hmm. I think we're good. Just if you want to mention, coming up Monday night is going to be um, the wellness webinar on stress, depression, and other pressures on college anxiety students. and stress. Right, and uh, Hannah and I are putting some stuff together for that. Yeah, um, that came from a conference call that we did on. Um, what was it on? I can't remember what the topic was, but we had all these moms on there who had teenagers and college students. And what came out of that was, would we please do a session on um, on depression, on, on nutritional and natural approaches, because a very high percentage of those kids are on antidepressants. I mean, it was one out of ten or something. It's very high. So um, we'll get all those statistics lined up for you, and we'll be doing that Monday night on the wellness webinar. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.